things are about to get bloody. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 violent movies. For this list, we're looking at films that choose to show violence on screen and put a premium on realism and effect. We will be discussing key scenes in many of these films, so here it is, spoiler alert. Oh no! We're also, and this is important, excluding horror films. <laughs> Number 10, Dread. Skin him. When it was announced that a new film adaptation of the Judge Dredd comic strip was set to be produced, many movie fans that recalled the Sylvester Stallone film were less than excited. You're a piece of work, Dredd. But comic fans knew something we didn't. Save me a lot of paperwork if you just confess right now. The potential of the property was huge, and when the end product was released, Dredd's visual effects and action, enhanced by the graphic violence, appeased many who'd been disgusted by the previous film. <laughs> Choke on that. Involving a unique idea of showing the violence through the eyes of drug-addled viewers in slow motion lent the sci-fi flick an otherworldly, cool veneer. Fire! Number 9. Braveheart Most war movies are inherently violent, but this medieval war drama's extended battle scenes stepped things up a notch in glorious fashion. The Lord tells me he can get me out of this mess, but he's pretty sure you're f <laughs> Never cutting away to the men in the rear or focusing on the politics behind the death and destruction, the mayhem of the era's wars that is typically glorified is instead shown in grisly detail in Mel Gibson's Braveheart. <laughs> The cherry on top of it all comes in the extended torture and beheading that comes late in the film. Number 8. Old Boy A man and his hammer can sure do a lot of damage. As Old Boy tells the story of a man consumed by his desire for revenge, it makes sense that things get a little bit gruesome. But the level things reach in this Korean neo noir is both surprising and enthralling. Whether it was the legendary hammer in the hall fight scene or the torture and tooth removal scene, this film pulled no punches when it came to showcasing action and violence. Number seven, natural born killers. Shit, man. I'm a natural born killer. It should go without saying that a film depicting the bloody trail of a couple of serial killers was not gonna get a PG rating. But the highly stylized violence of natural born killers still caused much outrage when it was released. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> 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 Scenes in which murder is given the sitcom treatment, laugh track included, may have been meant as satire. But by the time a prison riot is shown, we know that what's going on here ain't no laughing matter. Number 6. Rambo When Sylvester Stallone brought one of his trademark characters back to life 20 years after he last played the role, the decision was made to go for a grittier, gorier version of John Rambo. We'd seen the titular badass kill plenty of people, but never had he done it in such throat-ripping, disemboweling fashion as he does in the 2008 indie film. Ultimately coming to a crescendo in a 50 caliber M2 machine gun shootout that begins with its first victim being turned into liquefied goo, Rambo definitely earned its credentials for this list. Number 5. Robocop
Much of the RoboCop franchise in the 80s was child-friendly, including toys, animated shows, and comic books. Except for the film that started it all, which is the furthest thing from PG. He's got a this movie features a man who finds his way into some toxic waste and is horribly mutated. <laughs> only to be hit by a car and instantly pulverized. <laughs> Even the protagonist meets a gruesome death before he becomes the title character. In a scene which includes his hand and arm being shot off before his entire body is riddled with bullets finished off with a final headshot. Okay, fun's over. <laughs> Number four, Battle Royale. Coming out years before The Hunger Games, this Japanese action thriller sees a group of youngsters forced to hunt each other to the death. But instead of drama and melodrama, it focuses on the actual games and the horror they create. <laughs> this is a world where disrespectful youth are so out of control that examples have to be made out of them, with the worst behaving class being forced to kill or be killed every year. Upping the action by throwing in a few ringers with superior weaponry, you can rest assured that nobody will be climbing and hanging out in trees in Battle Royale. Number 3. Casino Martin Scorsese's organized crime masterpiece Goodfellas definitely incorporated the violence that enforces that world's rules. But there was one scene in Casino that outdid all of the destruction of its predecessor. No more. <laughs> While the film literally starts with a bang, we thought we knew what we were in for. But when a man is later forced to watch his brother be beaten to death with baseball bats, even we were appalled. When he then suffered similar treatment, but was allowed to just barely live so he could be buried alive, it sent a shudder down our spines. They buried him while they were still breathing. Then there's the scene with the vice. Ugh. Oh, motherfucker, my mother! That's what you fucking tell me! Motherfucker, you, huh? Number two, Kill Bill. It's your baby. When a group of samurai-obsessed professional killers attempt to take out one of their own, but doesn't finish the job, the table is set for a series of escalating standoffs. In the first of the two films in the series, that was certainly the case, as Volume 1 ends with a sword fight so brutal and bloody that Quentin Tarantino had to make part of the scene black and white to get past American film censors. <laughs> Though several other of the director's films, like Reservoir Dogs, Inglorious Bastards, and Django Unchained use violence, it was this film that showed it off in perfect Tarantino style. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. That's the best you can do, you pansies. Three. Number one, the passion of the Christ. Udaho aflana gubernator, di hu mesia chadoneino, malkan dabar the Yehudeya. Most movies based on the Bible eschew violence and opt instead to bring a sanitized version of the famous stories to celluloid. Winter team, winter team, winter team. 
When Mel Gibson decided to tell the story leading up to Christ's death, he bucked that trend in what appeared to be an effort to have viewers just marinate in it all. <laughs> Showing a vicious whipping, Jesus' forehead being ripped apart by the crown of thorns, <laughs> and ultimately, his gore-filled crucifixion in all its grandeur, this film has more than earned the top spot on our list. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? <laughs> Which movie do you think is the most violent? He made me walk! For more interesting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.